day by day, is the shizzle. What it do, what it is, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your Day by Day broad. Cast. I am your host, Day Day, and today we have a special episode featuring two special guests per usual. Uh, I'm joined by Fayetteville's own, that's right, the Ville is in the building. I'm joined by the homies J and G. The only thing missing is M, and if you don't get that, do your Googles. But J and G was good with y'all, man. Welcome. Man, glad to be here, man, for sure. Most yeah, definitely, man. Shout out, Day. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Like, I, I, I appreciate when someone reaches out to me and like, yo, like, I, I fuck with it. I appreciate that, but I appreciate it more when they be like, yo, I'm trying to, yeah, like, get on the joint. Like, hearing that, I'm like, bet, bet, bet. That's real, recognize it. But um, like I said, y'all from the Ville. We live in Charlotte. Uh, Ville is taking over. The, the Ville is taking over Charlotte. When I first came out here, when I met y'all, y'all was deep. Your whole crew, solid, might I add. And the fact that all y'all was from the Ville, I'm like, damn, like, y'all whole crew migrated. Like, that's solid. That's some solid shit. Sure. But, like, why why Charlotte? You know what I'm saying? It's like it's probably, like, what, like, five to, five to eight, ten of y'all, right? Yeah. What? Shoot, yeah. Yeah, y'all deep. Y'all deep. <laughs> y'all ain't even realize it. Y'all deep. But why'd y'all choose Charlotte? Uh, to be honest with you, man, Charlotte a vibe. It's it a good mix between city and then, you know what I'm saying, you can be out the city, too. And we from Fayetteville. We ain't got much, bro. We ain't got no downtown like that. We don't really got too many clubs. I mean, now it's progressing, but uh, majority of us went to college in Greensboro. And after that, we didn't want to go back to Fayetteville. So, and it was over for staying in the borough. It was cool for college, but after that, a lot of opportunity out here in Charlotte. So we just made that move, man. It is. That's the reason that attracted me. It's the opportunity and it's growing. So all of y'all went to A and T. Yes, Lord. I'm, yeah. I'm still there. What? Aggie I'm Pride, man. There. That's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, y'all be lit. I ain't gonna lie. I'm I'm unashamed, but yet ashamed to admit I've never been to a Jiho. I know, bro. The year I was gonna go was uh, the year COVID struck. Oh, yeah. I was like, I'm like, I'm yeah. done bullshitting. I'm going to Jiho. Boom. Then COVID. Yeah, yeah. But um, you said Fayetteville ain't got like no downtown, so it's small. I never been except for when we played Fayetteville State. Uh, and, and spanked them. Shout out Bowie. But uh, so like, is 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 it small? I, I never really really been. Man, I mean, if you if you've been to Greensboro, it's literally a smaller Greensboro. Right. Like yeah. literally a smaller Greensboro. Like the downtown, not that big. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know if you don't know, you know what I'm saying? A person personally, mm -hmm. you know of them. You know right, what I'm that's how small Fayetteville is. Yeah, everybody know everybody in Fayetteville. Yeah, yeah. Man. I ain't gonna lie. Since being out here, I kind of realized that's a North Carolina thing too. Yeah. Like, if okay. you know people in Greensboro or Durham or Charlotte, it's like everyone kind of knows each other. Yeah. Like my homie from Durham be coming out here, and knowing everyone that be from Greensboro that went to A and T, and vice versa. So I feel like that's that's like a North Carolina type thing. But um. I mean, nah, y'all deep in Charlotte. I, I think of the people that I meet in Charlotte, I think y'all, or I know y'all are top three. That comes up when I ask people where they from. Mm -hmm. The top three is either they, you know, from here, New York, or Fayetteville. <laughs> if it, I mean, Fayetteville, two hours away, man. You know what I'm oh, that's saying? nothing. That's sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. slight little drive back yeah, for real. Yeah, it get tricky, man. <laughs> That's sweet, and y'all and y'all got the cars to to make that trip. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Sweet too. We're gonna get into that. Oh, um, but yeah, nah. New York is deep out here. Like they that, are. They are <laughs> most definitely. Yeah, yeah. They migrate down here. Literally, yeah, like because it's it's. Blocks. I mean, yo, the the north is is it gets more hype and more spotlight. Mm -hmm. But over time, especially as you get older, you want some chill shit. Yeah. Like you don't want to be in shit that's moving a hundred miles per hour, twenty four seven. Mm -hmm. Where you constantly gotta, you know, uh, tread lightly because you don't know who try, you know, take advantage of you or whatnot. Right. And that was another reason I came out here to Southern Hospitality. It's real. So people from up north, mostly New York, they tired of it. Plus, man, inflation is going crazy. It's, yo, like the South is kind of chill. But I would admit, me being, I'm technically a Southerner because Maryland below the Mason Dixon, but 
you know, being above VA, being a northerner that migrated down here, my fault. Because I feel like, yo, in, a, in like maybe five years or so, it's going to get oversaturated. <laughs> I kind of feel it. I kind of feel yeah, it, man. Yeah, Charlotte most definitely turned into Atlanta. Yeah, it yeah, is, man. Most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. the baby A, man. That's what I heard. It's the baby A. That's what I heard. Yeah. It's lit out here, though. But um, so with y'all being from the Ville, I assume y'all fuck with that boy Cole Heavy, for sure. Favorite rapper for sure, for sure. Yeah, and he he's like uh, I've always fucked with Cole, but like the older I get, I fuck with Cole even more, cause like as I grow and mature and shit, his lyrics and like the shit he be talking about and putting in the air, it be on some warmer shit too for real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he a stand up guy. I actually had the opportunity to meet him one day. Uh. A lot of people from Fayetteville run into him and everything out there. Kickback Jacks. If you're from the Ville, you know about the Kickback yeah, Jacks. You're running sure. the cold there. That's every a hangout spot? It's actually like a little sports bar. But every time Cole go home for like the holidays, he, yeah. he most definitely in that Kickbacks. But I actually met him at a hoop session, and I didn't even go to hoop. I just went to like parlay, you know what I'm saying? Right. Walk in, he there. And literally after the hoop session, he made sure he spoke to everybody in that gym. Word. After the after the hoop session, I walked over to him. He came up to me, you know. I showed him the Dreamville tat and everything, and I brought up one of the lyrics and one of his songs when he talked about um, he could cop blase blase whip, but he went and got a Corolla instead. Yeah. So I walked to him. I said, "Did you really cop the Corolla?" He said, "I don't know." Nah. <laughs> but he a cool dude. Shout out Cole for sure. Yeah. Put the bill on the map. Yeah, Not for sure, man. He he seems solid. He seems solid. That's what's up. So he yeah. just be out there chilling. That's what's up. Yeah, that's what's up. Have you ever been to the uh, the crib? I heard like it's like did it turn into like a a tourist attraction type spot? Like what is it? The 2014 Forest Hills. Forest Hills. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy. I never. I've been in the Ville since eighth grade, like 2011. Mm -hmm. I never been. Word. Yeah. I never been to the crib. So man. that's like a outsider's type thing. Like if you from there, you ain't really sweating. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah. I have pulled up like once or twice, but it was on some like I was in the ville yeah. and it had nothing to do, just right. like riding around the city. Yeah, yeah let me see man, this joint. Yeah. Roll me yeah. up one. Right. Play some coal and mm -hmm. kicked it outside the crib. Mm. Mm -hmm. That shit that shit was lit though. That's a vibe. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Uh his most recent album was what the All Season. Yes, Lord. That was that was, it was called All Season, right? Mm -hmm. Was that joint better than Twenty Fourteen? Mm -mm. Nah, nah. nah. Yeah. The Ville in Twenty Fourteen was a whole different Ville than what it is now. So when he made when he dropped that, mm -hmm. mind you, I graduated in Twenty Fourteen. Mm. So oh, that's around that time, you couldn't tell me nothing yeah. anyway. Yeah. So I really <laughs> soak up that memory and like when I go back to listening to that, it remind me of us. If you're from the Ville, you know what Club Truth is. We used to throw parties there and they used to go down. It reminds me of certain things like that, just being young, not even 21, using my brother ID, mm. go getting liquor for the boys. Like It brings back certain memories like that. Like Yeah. It, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for me, I graduated 2013. Uh, we had a few albums, but it was mostly Gucci and Chief Keef mm -hmm. that we was bumping in 2013. Trap God was... Uh, out and then Keith was, you know what I'm saying, doing him. But music that brings memories like that, those are the music like uh we talked about the vinyls. Like yeah. all all my vinyls I collect are from music memories. So I don't I don't have the hottest albums on my vinyl wall, but yeah. I have joints that have like the solid, most solid memories, like uh Cushion OJ. Mm -hmm. That was my first weed memory. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I know y'all remember listening to Cushion OJ high for the oh, yeah. first time. You know what's crazy? What's up? You never did it. When Kush and OJ was out, I wasn't even smoking weed. I used to look at niggas that smoke weed like, what you doing that for? So this, <laughs> that was what, 2010? Yeah. So, I mean, how old was you in 2010? I mean, I was probably like 14, but a lot of the homies was smoking, uh, but I got on it late. Like, okay, I'd be around okay, and they'd be like, okay. hit it. I'd be like, nah, I'm straight. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, probably, matter of fact, you gave me an idea. That's what I'm doing later on. Listen to that Kush and OJ. Spark yeah. me one. You know, it's I, I just downloaded that like two weeks, ago, two yeah. or three weeks ago. Yeah. Only thing I don't like the new joint that he got. The beat is different on Never Been. It's oh. like two songs where he switched up the beat. That probably has something to do with like copyright. Like it's a lot that yeah. be behind the scenes with with what they doing shit. Stuff, man, it's so complicated. But you know, it's crazy how you was like the late bloomer with smoking. Now that I look at it, all my homies that 
like was like you when we were still smoking. Was like, nah, I'm good. I ain't fucking yeah. with that shit. <laughs> Are the biggest chiefers right now. <laughs> like, For sure. like when I, I, you know, I was smoking at like what, fourteen, and like. 14, 15, 16, I had, you know, homies that was like, nah, I'm good. And right now, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I I barely, barely gets down. And they chiefers. Like, yeah. they really be, they be like, damn, bro, you you lightweight now. I'm like, yeah, nigga, I already did it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here vet lungs, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I ran through that shit. For real. Um, yeah, nah, so yeah, that that that's definitely something you should do. Blow to that cushion, OJ. Yeah. Especially up. That was like the first. Man, that's yeah, that song right there. First time I heard "Up High," it was like uh, ten of us. We we in like what ninth, tenth grade? It's like ten of us at a park. We smoking probably like a a Dutch or some mid. You know what I'm saying? You know how that shit was. Had the phone playing the speaker. You know what I'm saying? We all circled around and my nigga Cash. Shout out to Cash. Was like, yo, listen to this shit. And they got the plan while we high. Man. Wow. He came in there so smooth. Yeah, man. yeah, timeless, yeah, timeless. Um, all right, so Jay, let me highlight at you right quick, man. Um, Carolina Toys. Man. For those who don't know, let's talk about what it is and how it was created. Man, it's 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 the biggest the biggest car club coming out of North Carolina, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It started really. Uh, shout out to Cool, man. Uh, we was. Back in the Grove, man, uh, in Greensboro, and um, this is when I first, this is when I first got uh, my, I think it was my com- yellow Camaro. That what Bumblebee, yeah, yeah, that joint sweet, man, love, love that joint man. sweet, love that. That really started like the whole motivation for it, you know what I'm saying, and just wanting to do something for the community. But um, yeah, cool. You know what I'm saying? We was doing our little recreational smokes, man. And, uh, <laughs> the the vision just came up out of nowhere. And from there, man, the name was brought up. And, you know, I got I, all these guys right here. They've been, th- these guys grew up with me, you know what I'm saying? So it was nothing for them to get involved with it, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And from there, we've been we've been taking this thing over. That's what's up, and yeah. just just to just to reflect the other cars, because me, I'm I'm a like Honda Accord type nigga. I ain't even gonna lie about it, but coming out here in Charlotte, it is definitely Dodge City, and I I sure. fucks with it. Like I love seeing the joints, especially y'all's with the custom colors on it and shit. Yeah. So your Bumblebee is tough, and we even show love to your old PB and J joint, because when when I first pulled up, I'm like, damn, both of these joints is hard as nah, shit. For sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, we got yeah. some shit coming too. None of that. Right, right. Stay humble. Right. G got some new shit on the way. We ain't even ready to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Y'all just going to see when it's time to see it. You know what I mean? Um, but as someone from the outside looking in of Carolina Toys, one thing that I really like and notice that differentiates y'all from a regular car club is uh, like the connection you make with the community. Mm-hmm. Um, so in the summertime before school started, y'all had a, a back to school giveaway mm-hmm. that y'all partnered up with, um, what was it, the Mecklenburg Sheriff Department. Yeah, yeah. And... I've never seen that. I've never seen a car club, you know what I'm saying, team up with the sheriff department to give back to the community. Mm-hmm. So it's a three part. But why it's so hard is because it kind of like um, alleviated the stereotype that, you know, car clubs and police don't get along. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like that that y'all hate each other and it's whatnot. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So how did that, like, how did that come about? And like, like those type of events, like with the community or whatnot, like what made you want to install that into the car club and not just have it be a regular car club and that's it? I mean, because, you know, in, 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 or, in order to be recognized, you know what I'm saying, you got to be different some way, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And, you know, with us being, you know what I'm saying, our, we're, we're young black guys with these nice cars, we already got that, that stigma. <laughs> You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? When we in these vehicles. So it's up to us to continue to do the right things, you know what I'm saying? So we can continue to play how we want to play, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And do these these events, uh, these chauffeurs, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, give back to the people who uh, who, who going to carry on this, this generation, this mm-hmm. next generation, you know what I'm saying? And so do, like, with y'all having a nice car, a uh, uh I'm pretty sure it's like tuned up, right? For the most part, like cars be tuned up. Yeah. Tuned up cars, tenant, you know what I'm saying, that already stick out. 
do y'all like like besides you know the sheriff department that y'all uh collaborated with like do y'all police be giving y'all like a hard time like are you more um liable to get pulled over do you think like out here uh yeah <laughs> it comes with it right it, it, just, it, it, it does it does yeah. but i mean you just got i mean you just got to know what you're doing behind that wheel man mm-hmm. like don't put yourself in no sticky situation mm-hmm. yeah, you like, can't move sloppy with that what you know you can't man like especially out here because charlotte they don't know how to drive they don't they don't know how to drive for one two you know what I'm saying? You 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 speeding like that. All that stuff is unnecessary, really. And if you this this from coming from Maryland, where you said Charlotte don't drive. Oh, I said yeah. they don't, but coming from Maryland, I love driving. Yeah, yeah. I'm already <laughs> knowing. I I'm love it. Knowing. I fucking love it. Like our highways be like two lanes, maybe three. Speed limit be like 55. So. Coming out here, one thing I noticed, people be flying. Yeah, they do. Like, I be going 80 <laughs> on 85 or 45, and I see someone kicking it. Yeah. And I'm going 80. So that made me think, yo, if you get pulled over out here, or if, you know what I'm saying, if 12 try to run you down out here, you really got to be moving. Yeah. yeah at, le- at least 85. Yeah. Y'all, least they 85. never try to pull y'all over? Like, have you ever got, like, uh, they pull the lights on you for speeding out here? Nah. Well, I, I got... I'm not gonna lie. I got pulled over um, last, like last year, sometime. First time ever, but it wasn't even for speeding. Mm. It was <laughs> like I went during a, under a tunnel mm-hmm. and I hit the gas a little bit. And, you mm, know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's when it roared. Yeah, they yeah. pulled me over, but nah, yeah. never for speeding though. Thank Boy. God. The police used to go crazy out here for real. Another reason why we had to partner with the sheriffs uh, and do some meets because they did like this big raid out here. What? They were going up to people uh, that they seen on YouTube, Instagram, and just finding them like just doing car meets and racing. Mm-hmm. They shut all that down. What? And they were going to people's cribs and seizing their cars, and they Damn. would have to pay racks just to get it back. They would send you letters in the mail like, yeah, we're coming to seize your car. There's nothing you can do about it. You got to pay this, and you'll get your whip back, hopefully. So that really brought us together as well because if we're going to be throwing events for the good cause, you know, we would have to have them there for some t- some type of support. Right, mm-hmm. right. That's yeah. smart. That's smart. Damn, no, that's that's wow. Yeah, it, it's it's really like it's it's simple, man. You know, just taking what the defense give you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I never. Um, I love like car shows. Like I love seeing them. At least I've been the one. Mm-hmm. Drag strip races and all that shit. Like I love seeing them shits. That's uh, great. so your Bumblebee J and G your PB and J before we get to your your new joint. Let's talk about your old joint. Yeah. What was in them? And I'm gonna act like I know. I I, I really don't. But still, <laughs> what was I might in as well them? go first because this man his whip would really humble you. What? <laughs> yes. All right, go ahead. I just had a V8 in mine. I ain't really do too much to mine, and I did wreck it, but I didn't start doing work and like whip my whip at all Mm -hmm. until the last two months that I had it. I was like, I want to keep it. I don't have four charges before. Mm -hmm. So when you speed the process up, you're going to do shit you're going to regret. So I really Mm -hmm. try to take my time with it. But I just had a V8. I ain't really do no air intake or nothing like that, but I'm going to let him talk about (laughs) it. That bumblebee will humble you on God. Let's talk about that Camaro. I'm, so I don't go back to like before like I even got so I had a regular V6 Camaro mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying I cut the little pipes off it was loud making noise but I just wanted to go fast mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying so I, uh, shout out to my boys in Greensboro man TCS Mr. John and Jerry they they are elite fabrication now but um went to them with the silver whip I was like man I want to go fast so it was like just put a little coat here and take in it. I'm like, man, it's not doing shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I'm not doing nothing with this. So, man, it, it all of a sudden, like, everything just changed. You know what I'm saying? Like, Is uh, this the same one you got now? Nah, this okay. was the the last one I, uh, I had. I actually got in a car accident. Mm. Got totaled, man. So, now I'm, I'm, I'm searching. I can get what I want. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> so, I'm like, man, I'm getting SS. I got to go SS. At least a V8. Mm. So... Found that man, and from there it was history. I uh, super supercharged. Um, man, it's it's a whole lot of stuff going yeah. on with that car. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. But it's, I, I remember it, seeing it at the show. Like, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 serious, man. But it's I I love it because it's a story behind it. Mm. It's a, it's a real story behind it, man. Yeah, that's a good part about cars, like. 
your car, like a car that's yours, like people fail to realize the history that comes with that joint. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like we just see, oh, it's a car. Nah, but like when we have it, that's why we be naming our cars. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y- mm-hmm. Y'all got a name for y'all joints? Oh, yeah, for sure. What's y'all, what's their names? Mine was Mamba Cedar. Yeah. Mamba Cedar. Mamba Cedar. That's tough. <laughs> Mamba Cedar. Man, mine, Bumblebee, man. Bumblebee, yeah, yeah. That's say, yeah, yeah, self explanatory. I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what comes with it. I had, um, what? So I, I had a like I'm like I said I like Hondas but I had I like driving stick shifts. See, I wanted a coupe. I wanted a V6, something cool but able to really yeah too yeah. like you know what I'm saying V6 is cool but still just something to make me feel like, you know what I'm saying I drove an uh, old school Accord all my life. Yeah. Finally get one the black joint. I don't know if you ever saw it. I had it out here but it got totaled and after putting thousands into it, you know what I'm saying with the lights, with the speakers, amp all that shit. And it got told on some, I'm parked. Someone parked next to me at Twin Peaks. When they pulled out, they told her that. I was inside. I was uh, like, bro, I'm done, I'm, I'm done having uh, some nice in, shit. In Charlotte? Yeah. At Concord. I was like, man, I'm done having nice shit. This shit ain't built for me, man. <laughs> My older cores don't shit happen to it. <laughs> I get something new. It's, it's boom, boom. But um, with y'all fast joints, what's the fastest y'all ever went in it? God. Like, you were with me when I hit my top speed. Yeah, you was like, you was like, what, one, like 150, 160? Nah, yeah, it, was, it was like 161. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My man's right in the back here. seat. Uh-huh. Hat flew off. Some <laughs> yeah. open windows down, bro. Like, I couldn't even sure. hear nothing, bro. Damn. Where was you? <laughs> where, where was you at? Really, I mean, I shouldn't even be saying this, but we had a, we had a, we had an amazing night. You know what I'm saying? Oh, me and man. the boys went out. We was chilling, and we was trying to get home in a hurry. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And we just. I just said, let me show y'all something real quick. And I mean, it just hit it. We got so y'all was on the highway with it? Yeah. yeah. That but it was like 3, 4 in the morning. Touch. Word, you know, word, nobody word, was word. on the road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. What's the fastest the SS hit? Man, like, like one. I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't I haven't hit it, like, to its fullest, man, because I'm a little I'm a little skeptic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, shh, like, one, not even that much, like 145. Yeah, but still, no one that could purr even more than that. That's still. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why, like, I, I got to go down. I'm going down the track this year, man. Mm-hmm. I'm going down the track. I got to. They got them out here, right? The, yeah, for the Speedway? For, for sure, for sure. Damn. Uh, hey, look, line them up, man. I got a side bet on hum- uh, Bumblebee because <laughs> he will humble you, dog. Where? Y'all, y'all, y'all ever raced anything? Uh, I have. Yeah. I raced. And the first time I raced, um, I got I got cheated because mm. white buddy, um, he told me he ain't have what he had. You uh, know what I'm saying? And I didn't realize it until he started putting ice in his trunk. Mm, that's for the Nas. Nah, that's that's for that's for his his tank, his ice tank to mm. keep everything cool. Oh, and normally, oh, yeah. Okay, well, normally, okay, when okay, you okay. when somebody got that ice in yeah. their tank, you know what I'm saying? They got some some horses. You yeah. Know? He had a twin turbo Damn. Mustang. A Mustang? Yeah, it dusted oh. me. Damn. And you had you had Bumblebee? I had Bumblebee. <laughs> I had Bumblebee dusted me. Damn. Dusted me. And I was like, yeah, you, yeah, you cat, bro. You cat. <laughs> so if he were to say it was something in it, what would happen then? Would y'all not race or would you have like a head start? Like if, yeah. if one car has a slight advantage under the roof, yeah. what happens then? I mean, if if it's a friendly run, I mean all, all is well. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's a test run, but like if it's bread involved, mm-hmm. oh no, nah, it's it's a hood check. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's okay. all that, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the whole the whole script. Yeah, need that. I Damn. think that's the only thing I don't like about pulling up at like random car meets and they be trying to look at your whip and be like, oh your shit slow, but well, what's in your shit? And they be like, oh don't worry about it. Why well, ain't about to race mm-hmm. you, bro? Right, right, right. right, right, right. It's, it's like that, a lot of bro. hidden agendas in, in that car yeah. world, man. Uh, they get sick. Yeah. I done seen a car with an airbag on the front of the bitch. Yeah. And I'm like, Lil B, what did that do? Hey, bro, just slow it down. <laughs> wait, wait! Airbag on the front, deployed or would you like, not like an airbag, like a uh, like a like a parachute. A parachute. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. damn! Yeah, like some damn. Some, yeah, they, they be floating that bitch. Yeah, they be they be out here, man. They really do. They be out here. Oh, y'all hear it, bro? Forty five. Yeah, yeah, right here. Every yeah, you used, used to stay out here, bro. Every night they go crazy. I hear the motorcycles every night. They yeah, the motorcycle. That's that's really what you're gonna hear. Them bitches be loud as shit. But sometimes you you'll hear like you'll definitely hear a Charger, a Challenger. You'll hear that engine 
or Mustang of, you know what I'm saying, two with people racing and whatnot. Yeah, it gets on and popping. Nah, for sure. I love it, man. Yeah, I like it. All right, let me ask y'all something. Say you had half a mil, 500,000 car credit, any car, what you getting? And you can spend 250 on a car, then 250 to put in it, however you want to chop it up. You got 500,000 car credit, any car under the sun. What are y'all getting? Already know. What, what, what you going? You got to go first, bro. That's tough. I'm going. I'm, I'm going. My dream car is the AMG 4x4. Mm, G-Wagon. Big body. The big body G Wagon. Yeah. I got to have that. Yeah. I got to have that. That's clean. So you trying to ride in style? Yeah, just something, <laughs> just something cozy. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Something I can drive during the week. I'm going to be real. Mm hmm. And it may sound cliche, but I just like the way they look, man. I'm an SUV guy anyways. Before mm-hmm. I got my scat, I was going to get an SUV. Mm-hmm. But, man, that Lamborghini yours. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a lamb truck. That, man. Yeah. Yeah. I call it a lamb chop. I would lamb get that chop. and yeah. just have like old Crazy. <laughs> that, ew. Oh, my God. Yeah. I would have to get that. So and it's going to be purple. It's got to be. Word. A purple, a pur- a purple lamb chop. Oh, like the like the last joint, like a like a, a smooth kind of dark purple. To be honest, that plum. Yeah, with oh, that, I would have plum. to go back to the first guy I had. I had like a like a Laker plum purple. Mm. I would have to go that. The yeah. scatty addy with the <laughs> with the brown seeds. That'll be vicious. Word. Yeah, that'll be vicious. That would probably be the one car though. So yeah. since I've like so since y'all have cars that can get up. I can see why y'all would want something more calm and chill. Yeah. <laughs> I only drive calm and chill shit, so mine would be some shit that gets up. I already know it. If I had to get a car that got up, I'm going to get a, a GTR. I fuck with GTRs. I go crazy every time I see one. It's the, um, and it's the, it's two two kinds. I forgot which kind it is that I, w- I would get. It's like the, you know, the more upgraded version, but mm. hell yeah, I'm getting a fucking GTR. Yeah. Yeah. This shit is crazy. The guys who built my car, they, their car, like, I mean, their shop car, my fault. Mm-hmm. Their shop car is a GTR. Mm-hmm. Man, that thing was pushing 1,600 horses, man. Damn. I wouldn't even damn. get behind that, bro. 1,600 damn. horses. God damn. Yeah. Automatic. Yeah, I'm getting a stick shift. I'm fucking that bitch up. <laughs> I'm fucking that bitch up. Hey. Like, if we if we whipping, we whipping. I'm fucking that bitch mm, yeah. up. That's, yeah. I saw one, uh, I saw like two out here, but most recently, last week, I saw one on uh, 45 and almost crashed because, you know what I'm saying, somebody was on some dickhead shit when they was driving. I'm like, yo, that shit blows me, bro. Like, what's 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 that thing that drivers do that really grinds your fucking gears? Mm. We go, <laughs> or as they say, really chaps your ass. What's that, what's that one thing that drivers do that really blows the shit out of you? Mm. Cause it's so many. Bro, it is. You bro. think common sense. You think common sense on the road is common, but it's not. Like it's I won't not, even not get a bad. motorcycle because I don't trust. You know what I'm saying yeah, that everyone out there has common sense tricky, driving. What's man. that thing that really blows y'all? Man, I, I hate when people ride my tail, bro. Mm-hmm. I hate. I, I, that's like my biggest pet peeve. Cause like I don't like speeding. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm a casual driver, but. Sometimes, I mean, yeah, I, when I'm in a rush, I'm getting mm-hmm. rushed. Right. But, like, them times when I'm just trying to chill, it's always that. Of course. That that group of people of that course. just going to ride your ass. Mm-hmm. Man. I, I hate it, yo. And they don't realize, like, yo, you doing that, I'm going to go even slower now. Exactly. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Exactly. You, you, okay, bet. You in a rush? You want to ride my tail? Bet. Yeah. Hit me if you want. I'm getting that check. <laughs> that, exactly. So, and it's always exactly. in a car that's not even supposed to be going that fast. Yeah. I was about to say the same thing, bro. <laughs> They be doing that shit in in minivans and shit. Like, what the fuck? Hondas and shit. I'm like, all right, bro. Mine would probably have to be the lane-to-lane drivers, bro. Like, why are you going from the right lane Mm. to the left to the middle? Like, Mm -hmm. just relax, my dog. Either go in the fast lane or go all the way to the slow lane. Simple. Simple. Oh, the braking too. Yeah, yeah. Too. the mm-hmm. breakers, man. Oh, yeah. bro, yo, you be behind them, you be like, okay, it must be some shit going on. That's why they breaking. You go around, ain't shit in front There's of them. Nothing going on. Like, what's that one exit? Uh, like you say, you leaving downtown mm-hmm. and you merge on to what is it, seventy seven? You know what I'm talking about? Two, two seventy seven, seventy seven. Like I'm, coming back this way. Uh huh. Yeah. And you gotta like, merge off. Yo, I sort of got so you merge off. 
Mm-hmm. The the lane is a continuing lane. Right. There's no reason for you to be stopping, sir. Yeah. So <laughs> why are you is 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 traffic backed up all the way on the highway, mm-hmm. but it's no it's traffic the, on the merging highway. Right. It's annoying, yeah. man. Oh, yeah, that it's single annoying. lane shit or yield, 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 yeah. yield will fuck yield. somebody up Not bad. For sure. For sure. And it'll be like yield, and then it'll, like you said, the single lane joint, and then they'll yield like it ain't a single lane <laughs> joint. Roundabouts be killing people. Yeah, for sure. I hate it. I My hate backyard, it. it's a roundabout right here. Uh, it's like three honks a day, three a day. I almost hit some lady that, you know what I'm saying, wanted to feel brave. No car behind me. She felt she had to gun it. Instead of waiting two seconds, like that would inconvenience her whole life. I'm like, all right, shorty. Like that would have been on you if I hit you too. Exactly. I mean, listen, I psh, I've been in three. I've had three cars total. None of them my fault. Play pussy if you want. <laughs> I'm gonna be the one getting that check. If I'm in the right away and you feeling hey. brave, all right, to <laughs> cool. Yeah. I'm with a cool come up for real. Um, mine. Uh, even though we went over a few. Bro, I hate when someone is driving slow and you're behind them. So like, all right, cool, do your thing. Respectfully. You go around them. They notice you're going around them, then they want to speed the oh fuck up. Oh my gosh, yo. I, and then at, at that point, it's like you're just being you're just being petty at that. Yo. Point. You know I'm what like, what well, keep the ego, man. Ego, oh, man. man. That shit wakes them right up. They be like, oh yeah, no, I was actually about to Haul ass anyway. No, yeah. Those are the petty drivers, dog. Yeah. Like, they're the pettiest people on the highway, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, I just woke me up. Yeah, like, what, bro? <laughs> Seriously, going 60 the whole time. I'm like, all right, bet. Go 80 around, and all of a sudden, they keeping up with you. Yeah. I mean, like, you full of shit, man. Yeah, yeah. I hate um, What's to come? You know what I'm saying? With Carolina Toys, it's, it's getting it's getting warmer out. I know that because I, be, I be hearing the V8s. And my, I be hearing the V8s at night. It's getting warmer out. Yes, What's to come in 2022 with Carolina Toys? Oh, man. Man. Um, shoot. A lot. I'm just, it's, it's so much, man. I, I ain't even going to lie. Uh, just the whole, we, we, we've been under reconstruction. These these last couple months, uh, in in and out, twenty twenty one, um, but now man, we we just finna come fully loaded. We got the website up, mm. you know what I'm saying. Um, if you haven't checked it out, carolinetoys dot com, you know what I'm saying. It's uh, it's it's everywhere. T- toys with a Z, not an S. Yes, Lord. Toys yes, with a Z, uh, man. We yeah, we 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 different. You yeah, know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. We different, but uh. We got uh, a definitely a lot more community service events. Um, you know what I'm saying? We, I do want us to dish out like scholarships. Try to try to get that going this year. You know what I'm saying? Uh, That's huge. Graduating, you know, kids getting ready to go to college and stuff don't mm-hmm. got, you know, the the uh, adequate amounts. Well, know? That's huge. Uh, and to be honest with you, just to elaborate a little bit more about what we got going on. Um, like you said, we got the website dropping. We got merch on the way. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing, and like you said, we want to give back to the community. Another thing that um, I can see us doing, man, we really want to get a group of kids, show them how to work on cars, mm-hmm. how to change tires, like small things like that. You know, because that's important, bro. It is yeah, for sure. It, that's important. It, it is. Sure. It's a. You'll be surprised at how many. Uh, kid, teenagers and even young adults, twenty to twenty-five and maybe even older, don't know how to uh, change a spare tire, mm-hmm. don't know how to check their oil, yeah. don't know how to, you know what I'm saying, uh, change their uh, or add <laughs> um, uh, power steering fluid. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it's it's a whole bunch of shit. Like that's yeah, y'all definitely thinking outside the box. Yeah, yeah, y'all definitely thinking outside the box. Another car club, fuck around and hear this and and do the same thing. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's what's up. Damn. So y'all, y'all doing that shit. You got the website. You got these new ideas coming in of, you know what I'm saying, actions about, that's about to take place in 2022. Uh, what goes into the process of the start to getting where it is now? Like, just kind of reflecting and seeing all it took and how to get there. Like, what did it take, you know what I'm saying, that you would mm-hmm. be able to tell a younger you that didn't use that at the time? Like, yeah. what's something that you can tell them that it took to get it to this point man just yo 
I man, everyone hears it, man. But I swear to God, that shit is so true, man. Like, just do it. Like, if you believe it, you know what I'm saying. For one, you gotta see it. You gotta visualize it. You know what I'm saying. Like, man, manifestation is really real, man. You know what I'm really saying. Really, speak, speaking to it, you may go. On, you you may have people on the sidelines. You should do it this way. You should do it that way. You know what I'm saying. Cool. Accept that. Take it in. You know what I'm saying. But still. Especially if it's your vision, and you know what I'm saying, yo, go about it. Go about it how you how you want to go about it, and go about it the way it's supposed to be to help everyone who's trying to join you. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like don't don't make your goal so selfish to the point where you you reach a goal and and shit. Now you like, damn, mm. this is this is really it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, just to piggyback on that, because I feel like I got the same kind of mentality with it, too. Just don't put limitations on your dream. Like, yeah. the things we doing now, we probably didn't even see ourselves doing or even thinking about it years, Not you know. Sure. Guaranteed. Each day is something that we want to do. Like, me and Lil B, Chester, everybody, we, we came together to do this. So why halfway do it? You know what I'm saying? Let's exactly. Let's just keep learning. Let's just keep picking up on things that, you know, we probably never even seen before. Right. Yeah. Like, all right. Yeah, you definitely don't see it at the time. Yeah. But every day when you add more ideas and more ideas, you're like, oh, that'll be fire to do it. Yeah. Boom. And then it's like, damn, this is how I got here. <laughs> and yeah. even on both sides of the spectrum, if the idea may be bad, at least you tried it. You know what doesn't exactly. work. Yeah. Exactly. And I like how you said, uh, Jay, you was talking about, um, you know, take advice mm-hmm. from people. But, you know, no two persons made it the exact same way. Exactly. So take advice, exactly. use a little bit of their advice, a little bit of their advice, and create, like, one formula with it right. that is mostly mostly made up of your mm-hmm. ideas, your perception of it. Yeah. And then when you put that together, that's what, you know what I'm saying, if you just straight take heed what someone says and just do that the whole way through, then, I don't know, I see that as setting yourself up for failure because they're going to be like, this is exact copycat of this. Exactly. Exact copycat. At, at that point, it's replicated. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not duplicated. Mm-hmm. You know? That's what's up. Manifesting with hard work. At that. Work. Manifesting with hard, with hard work. Because if you just manifest and hope for shit, if you just, like, hope that, you know what I'm saying, you're going to get rich one day, but do absolutely nothing except... Something that the average person is doing, then how that's gonna happen? Exactly. What 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 Cole say? Uh, how the fuck are we scared to take risk? How the fuck are we gonna get rich? Something like that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The I fire squad going, joint. Yeah, 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 fire yeah, squad. Like, how we gonna get rich if you scared to take risk? Mm-hmm. And that was the perfect time to do it, bro. Like, cause everything is like literally everything is a market right bro, now. If you have, <laughs> bro, everyone is attached to this shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. everyone. Yeah. If you come up with something that puts it in front of them, you're, you're good. And they come across it, boom. Yeah. That takes away, like with music. Like back in the day when they had albums, you had to really run up on people or really mm-hmm. put it out there with posters. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now yeah. you can play a clip of your song and 2,000 people will see it in five seconds and I'll let them know if they want to fuck with it or not. Exactly. Yeah, so that, that, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. And the, the um, website is coming. You say you got merch and all that too, right? Mm hmm. That's now the we, the website good man yeah the oh the website, website is here the merch yeah. is coming yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah okay yeah. okay yeah, we, bet that bet that. that man yes, yes sir it's Carolina toys Carolina toys that's what it is man um next time y'all got like a a, a meet or a side show bro I need to go man I, I be I be itching to see them joints bro because again <laughs> I don't drive them you know what I'm saying so I be wanting to see it you know what I'm saying because I don't feel it I'm like shit let me at least feel it from somebody else let me see someone else you know what I'm saying spinning that bitch. And all that shit. That's what's up, man. Uh, but listen, for everyone tuning in, whether you're watching on YouTube, uh, listening on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, the shit's everywhere. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, make sure that you hit subscribe. Go ahead and share. Uh, all that stuff. Of course, I'd like to thank Jay and G for stopping through, uh, showing love. You know what I'm saying? Carolina Toys in the building. The villas in the building. I appreciate y'all, man. And before we go, man, shout out Day, man. We're gonna give you your flowers too, bro. What you mm-hmm. doing? Even your reels on Instagram, bro. I wake up early in the morning. I'll be I notice you up early, yeah. you up yeah. active. Bro, that get me going too. <laughs> like today, bro. I woke up and I think I seen you post like just a city. 
Yeah. And that motherfucker said two hours ago, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And then oh, yeah. I was up at eight. Oh yeah. So I'm like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get it, bro. We we glad that you allowed us to come here, um, use this platform, and just have casual conversation. This wasn't like no interview, no nothing. And we want to thank you for that too, bro. Because everybody's not giving us this opportunity. Usually, when you you know you go up to somebody, they talking dollar, dollar, dollars, mm-hmm. and why we even gotta get into that? You know what exactly. I'm saying? So yeah. we would appreciate you as well, bro. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. I try to have it not diluted. You know what I'm saying? Worry about money and all that. Nah, it's about me help you, help me help you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, Purity, that's, man. that's what it is. That's what Purity. it is. Love. Yes, sir. That's how we doing it, man. All good vibes over here. Thank y'all for tuning in again. Make sure that you uh, subscribe so that you can be kept up to date on every episode. Mm-hmm. And until next time, this is Day by Day Podcast reporting out. Peace. Man, why? <laughs> yes, sir. But.